I'm often asked how we make a decision about the size of breast implants. Breast implants can come in small sizes, for example, uh, or they can come in large sizes. The difference between them um, obviously is the, the diameter of the implant, which you can see if I hold them like that. The diameter the, across the implants is, are different between one implant and the other. And the other is the projection, which is how much they stick out. The, the diameter is determined um, by me looking at you, measuring your chest diameter, and then picking an implant that suits the, the, the diameter of your chest. So everybody measurement will, everybody's measurement will be different. Therefore, the, the diameter will be different from one person to the next. Uh, that's a decision that I normally make um, because I don't want an implant that is either too narrow or too wide for that particular person's chest. The projection, which is how much they stick out, determines the cup size that the patient ends up with and that can often be a personal preference. So there are basically two main dimensions in, in, when I'm looking at sizing uh, patients and that is the, the diameter of the chest and the projection that they want. If people want more cleavage, then either a wider diameter implant is better or alternatively if we use some sutures or stitches in the armpit area and close that area off it pushes the implant towards the middle of the chest and gives better cleavage. So cleavage can be achieved either by a wider diameter implant or by using some stitches to push the implant towards the midline. This has become more popular uh, in the last few years cleavage appears to be more popular than side boob and for that reason we tend to, to uh, keep the implants a little bit closer to the midline and, than we have done in the past. The way breast implants are measured is in terms of cc's which is cubic centimetres. It's a measure of volume. That means a bigger number is a bigger implant and a bigger volume implant. The important thing to realise with breast implants, particularly if you have friends who have had implants put in, is that the uh, final appearance of the implant will depend on the width of the chest and the size of the person and the amount of breast tissue they have to start off with. So I often see people come in and say, my girlfriend's got a 350cc implant, they look really good and I'd like the same. My answer to that is, they will not look the same unless you're the same height, the same width and have the same amount of breast tissue to start off with. So, um, although that can give people a guide, the final decision is really based on the, the measurements um, that actually tell us what uh, diameter needs you need to have and what projection or cup size you want to have. One of the ways we do this is using sizes. For example, a small implant size here. Uh, this is obviously shaped as a teardrop, um, but can be put on, uh, on the patient's chest and then in a bra to give you an idea as to what you may look like. They come in different sizes. This is a small one. Um, a larger one might look like this. Larger implant size, so we've got two to here. Um, and we have a range of these different size uh, implants that we can uh, use to help. We also use the normal uh, breast implants that we, we actually use in people um, to, to make it uh, easier to get a feel for what they're going to look like. Uh, we use uh, 3D imaging and we use a system called Chrysalix which is based on an iPad but allows us to simulate uh, after we've taken some photographs of, of you, we can turn that into a 3D image and then we can simulate different size implants on your chest so you know what you will look like. We look at you from front on, look from one side or the other, up and down. So it's a really nice way to get a feel for um, uh, what different size implants will look like. And we can give you at the end of your consultation a printout of several different sizes uh, uh, that have been simulated on you so you can take it home and show your, your partner or whoever else you want to, or your girlfriends or whoever else you want to uh, get some advice from. So there are several different ways of us, uh, making a decision as to what the right size implant is for you. It's important from my point of view that you make the decision. I will guide you. If I think you're making the wrong decision, I will let you know. But ultimately, these are your breasts and you make the final decision about how big you want to be and whether you want a, a natural or a uh, more uh, fake look to your breast implants, that's a decision that you need to make and um, I'll respect whatever decision you make with respect to that.